Hi again everyone, in today's video on the Hittites, we will briefly discuss the reign of King Telepinu and the end of the Hittite Old Kingdom. The disastrous reign of Huzziah came to an end after a man named Telepinu, the brother-in-law of the king, and possibly the son of the earlier king Amuna, overthrew Huzziah in a bloodless coup. Even though Huzziah had earlier apparently tried to murder Telepinu, Telepinu then, instead of killing his brother-in-law and his five sons, had them banished, though Huzziah and his sons were then murdered later on. Telepinu claimed that he was unaware of the plot and that he was in Syria on campaign at the time of their deaths. Whatever the case may be, Telepinu's reign appears to have been a time of brief revival for the previously struggling kingdom of Hatti. Telepinu's 25 year reign is notable for two very important political developments. Firstly, to put an end to the frequent murderous conspiracies that had developed around the succession to the throne of Hatti, he issued what is known as the Telepinu Edict or Proclamation. This edict set in law the rules for royal succession. The rules were quite simple. If the queen had a son, that man would inherit the throne. If the queen had no son, then one of the sons of the king's concubines would be made king. If none of his concubines had a son, then one of the king's son-in-laws would be made king. This simple edict would eventually become the norm for royal succession, bearing a few exceptions, for later Hittite rulers, especially during the later New Kingdom period. Second major political development within Hatti was the use of diplomacy in securing the kingdom's borders and in maintaining peace, rather than just depending solely on military power to secure both things. During his reign, Telepinu made an alliance with the smaller kingdom of Kizuwatna to the southeast of Hatti, which bordered both his lands and that of the troublesome Hurrians in northern Syria. This smaller kingdom would remain independent and act as a sort of buffer state between Hatti and the Hurrians. Even though this smaller kingdom would later go back and forth, breaking and forming alliances with both sides during the following years, the use of treaties and diplomacy with foreign kingdoms and powers would also become a normal tool used in later Hittite history when dealing with her neighbours. After a reign of about 25 years, Telepinu died. Unfortunately for Hatti, the king's son had earlier been murdered, which lack of an heir led to further murderous plots to secure the throne over the next century. The very thing Telepinu had attempted to avoid in the future through his edict was still continuing. The next hundred years marks the end of what is known as the Hittite Old Kingdom, and during this century, a series of six ineffectual and unremarkable kings ruled over Hatti, until about 1400 BC. The Kingdom of Hatti continued to exist, but in a much diminished and weaker state, and was rife with internal problems. These circumstances would continue until the rise of the New Kingdom period, which we will examine in a later video. Until then, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe for more new videos on Fridays.